What's up guys, Arsene Mame and Alice is here, going to be talking about PFL 6 2022 and this will be a little bit of a quieter video, it's about mid midnight here, I don't know why I left it so late to record the video but I have and uh, before we get into the video man, I'm a little bit worried about PFL man, I really do feel like PFL is starting to lose a bit of credibility here I mean, Kayla Harrison versus Caitlin Young is the main event, this isn't a good look to start with and then, um, last week, you know, Bruno Capeloza, their 2021 heavyweight champion, lost to a light heavyweight Dana White's contender series reject, and Matthias Schiffel, like, and then even then, like, one of their previous champions in Emiliano Sordi lost as a massive favorite, uh, to Delan Monte in the first round, like, PFL, man, I'm really starting to worry about them going forward, I just, I just don't think this tournament s system is working, man. But uh, hey, let's just get into the picks and predictions. Uh, straight up, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't care about the women's 155 pound division. And that's just the truth of it. I really don't. Because it's just really set up for... Um, it's just all set up for... Um, what's her name to win? Um, Kayla Harrison to win. Kayla Harrison's going to win the, the division. So it doesn't really matter like what these girls do or if they win. I am going to pick Vanessa Mello to win. She didn't look that good in her last fight against Martina Jindrova. To be honest, Lena Kolesnik re recently beat Abby Montez by split decision. I personally didn't think that uh, Kolesnik was going to win that fight, but she did. Vanessa Mello, you know, she's like a former flyweight, I think, for the UFC. Fight enough at way up at 155, but uh, yeah, I think she's better. She, I think she's just better than Kolesnik. She had a really bad UFC run, but I do think she's just a little bit better. I'm, I'm picking Mello decision here. Uh, now moving on, Martina Jindrova. Uh, Martina Jindrova also won her last fight against Vanessa Mello, who is a former UFC fighter and looked all right. Now Zamza Gul got knocked out by Larissa Pacheco, but before that, you know, really padded record. Not a good record. Hasn't fought much at all. Uh, didn't look amazing. I'm picking Jindrova again, again to probably beat Zamza Gul here, but I mean Jindrova is probably going to get fed to Kayla Harrison with a six and two record. Like, oh, the, the woman's one fifty five pound division just ain't it, Chief. I'm really sorry, but I just ain't. Marina Wagnatina went all three rounds with Kayla Harrison. <laughs> I respect it, low key, and I think she's going to beat Abby Montez. I know Marina Wagnatina has like an insane background in judo or in sambo or something like that, so she does have a lot of outside of MMA experience, and she's actually all right. Like, she's actually not too bad. But, and I think she's better than Abby Montez as well, who who beat Closer Shields um, in her fight. But Marina Mocnatino, I really do believe, I uh, should win this one here. Gleason T. Bell versus Nikolai Alex Station. On the fence, man, like, Nikolai lost to Sadabu Sai, which is not a good look, really. Sadabu Sai really is just a long range rangy striker and not much more. Gleason T. Bell is also a short dude, so they're going to be about the same height. Uh, shorter reach for T. Bell. T. Bell's almost 39 years old. Like, oh my god, t -Bow, you know, and he also got robbed, man, he got robbed against Jarrah Al-Salawi, I actually think Gleason t won that one, he robbed Roy McDonald so bad, but I do actually think he beat Jarrah Al-Salawi, and based off that performance, I think he should be able to beat Alex Shation, but Alex Shation's quite good, you know, like he, he, he beat Jesse Ronson, who, uh, is, who was in the UFC, I think he got cut. I'm going to go with T-Bow decision. I'm not that confident in it, but I will be going with T-Bow decision. Next one, I'm going to be picking Gina Fabian to beat Larissa Pacheco. I like Larissa Pacheco. I think that at one point she was in the UFC and had a UFC run. Am I correct in saying that? And Gina Fabian, she's huge. She's six foot. Um, she missed weight at 155, which is absolutely insane. I don't know what happened there. But um, she's six foot tall. Larissa Pacheco is five foot six. Um... I think just Gina Fabian is going to be the better striker as well. She trains out of City Kickboxing, and, and uh, all those guys have been training for fights, so Gina Fabian, I'm sure, would have been doing some training with them, so she'll be ready for the scrap, and I do think that uh, Fabian should win. Everyone's picking Pacheco, but I will be siding with Fabian to win this one here. I think she should be able to win a decision. Joa Al Salawi versus Magomed Umalato. If Joa Al Salawi actually put on a dominant performance against Gleison Tebal, I will pick him. And it's really hard, though, because Jarrah Hussein El Salawi is a really good fighter, man. Like, he got a... Okay, that's not a good one. <laughs> but he's got good wins. Like, he's got a win over Ismail Nodiev, who's a former UFC fighter. He's got um, a couple of really good wins. Undefeated Abdul Aburagimov, you know, I believe that was a rematch as well when uh, he was robbed in the first fight. And then now he's fighting Magomed Umalatov, who hasn't fought for 10 months. You know, like, he's also got pretty good wins on his record as well. Like, it's just a hard fight to get a read on, because Jarrah El Salawi... He didn't beat Gleason T-Bow. He got re-robbed Gleason T-Bow, man. Um, I think Magomedo Malatov is going to is gonna beat him, but I'm not confident at all. 
Jirai El Salawi could definitely win this fight, but I will be going with the Malatov at the moment. Now, Magomed Magomed Kirimov versus Joel Zafarina. I believe Joel Zafarina was a short notice replacement to fight Delano Taylor. Am I correct in saying that, or is that um, incorrect? I think that is correct. I think he was a short notice replacement to fight Delano Taylor, and he went to split decision there. Magomed Magomed Kirimov. He's the UFC's boy, and a PFL's boy. Uh, Magomed Magomed Kirimov, I believe, should definitely win this fight. He's way bigger than Jaro Zafarino. He's 5'9 at 170. Magomed is 6'1 at 170. He's a lot bigger. He was en route to beating Ray Cooper III in the finals as well. I think he was meant to have a fight last time, but it didn't end up happening. And I think he's going to beat Zafarino as well. And I think he might, um, based on how the points are going, I think he might actually need he need a finish. So, you know what? I'm going to go Magomed Kirimov by finish. Because I feel like he needs a finish to get uh, into the next round. And I feel like he's going to be going for that. So I'm going to be picking Magomed to win that one. Ray Cooper the third. I don't know what happened to him in his last one, man. But he missed weight by a lot. By about five pounds. And then he ended up losing to Carlos Leal. And Carlos Leal took that fight on like one week's notice. I was like, Ray Cooper the is going to win that all day. And he didn't. Which kind of sucks, man. Because Ray Cooper the is not even 30 years old yet. I thought maybe after his PFL run, the UFC were going to scoop him up or something like that. But he's quite small for a 170 pound fighter. He's 5'7 with the 70 inch reach. He's fighting Brett Cooper, former UFC fighter. Uh, and I think actually, or did Brett Cooper ever fight for the UFC? I feel like he did at one point way early on in his career. Unless I've got him confused with someone else. He never fought for the UFC, but he fought for Bellator. That is where I'm getting confused there, I, I think. So, uh, he's fighting Brett Cooper. Brett Cooper lost to Rory McDonald by submission. Brett Cooper III really should get a knockout on this one here. I mean, he's going to be going for the finish to, to get into the next round. He's going to need to finish, so I'm going to be going with Cooper III. Your 2021 champion lost to a guy on one week's notice. Like, PFL's credibility, I think, is just going out the window. Especially with that pre-recorded controversy as well on the Dana White's Contender Series sort of event. Crazy to me, man. And now Rory McDonald versus Sada Busai. I'm going with Rory McDonald. I'm going with the Red King, man. He's taken so much damage in his career, but he's still a good fighter. He's still a scrappy fighter, you know. He got robbed against Gleason Tebow. He did lose to Ray Cooper III. That's, that, that's a fair loss. But, um, yeah, I think this might be the year of the Red King. You know, I think he's going to beat Sada Busai. Sada Busai, to me, really is just a long-rangey striker. You know, I don't necessarily see him being... Uh, super super well-rounded, in, in my opinion. I think Roy McDonald's a lot more well-rounded. I think he can get it done. I think McDonald's going to win this one. I will probably just be siding with the decision here. So I may be live for a KO at one point because he does have power in the hands if he, if he, if he lets it go. But I think Roy McDonald really should beat Sadabusa here. I think he's just a little bit better, uh, really. And Caleb Harrison versus Caitlin Young. Caitlin Young took this fight like a week's notice, a week and a half's notice, and that's kind of all you need to know. Um, that's all you need to know. That's literally all you need to know. <laughs> Kayla Harrison's been training for a fight. Uh, she's undefeated. She's looked unstoppable for the longest time. Caitlin Young was, was brought in to, um, feed Julia Budd a, a free win in PFL last year. Um, yeah, no, this is, this is, um, Harrison all day. Um, inside the distance as well. Either a ground and pound or, or a submission. Just either one. Pick, flip a coin and pick KO or submission. I said the Marina Mocnatina fight wasn't going the distance. This fight is not going the distance. I'm sorry, but Kayla Harrison is definitely finishing this girl. And uh, yeah, I think um, Kayla Harrison gets the job done inside the first of the second round. Uh, not really too pop confident in all the picks. I haven't really looked into it, but yeah, no, just PFL for me, man. PFL last week just really put a damper on my hopes for the PFL as a promotion, man. I just don't... I just don't know how I feel about their their system anymore. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It's kind of it's kind of stupid, you know. In a way, like I don't really care about the league. I just want to see like the top, the best of the best fighting each other, you know. And PFL, I mean, they're kind of doing that, but they're kind of not. It's just a weird. It's a weird situation all around. But yeah, Caleb Harrison's winning this main event. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was a really short video, but yeah, it kind of lets me know how much I really care about this card, which is not a lot. I'm sorry, but I just don't really care about um pfl this week because ufc 276 is on man let's be realistic my focus on ufc 276 all day man i'm so hyped for that card all right i'll see you later